found some. Great. Was it alcohol? All right. Come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Sorry, your low pass filter is still on. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. I'm coming. Cool. It's low cut, sorry. Miss Hartwood. Emily? She gone. What the hell is going on? Where am I? Der Seto Mana. No, not anymore. Investigate the course. Oh my god, it did change. Maybe. Yeah, it definitely changed. Okay. Now it is New Orleans. Before everyone spams PT in the comments. P things were doing this way before PT. Yeah. Turn if left. I... Hey, turn left. Oh, there's a lying figure over there. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that doesn't do much to help me. Oh my god. It's a lying figure, actually. Okay, so there's one, and I think I hear another one right there. There you are. I thought no tooltips, huh? So how's the combat? Bad. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. Can't move. Now losing a ton can't of health. Move. Can't move. Can't move. Can't move. Excuse me. Excuse me. He's pushing me through the wall. Excuse me. That's not supposed to happen. Reload. Okay. First of all, do that. Better than 92, though. This has got to look really silly as old school Carnby. You know what? Just just for gets and shiggles. Just for a little bit. Just for gets and shiggles. <laughs> they don't change the texture of the gun. It's literally just him. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's gone. Look at the eyes! Yep. Oh my god, the eyes! The eyes! It's so good, dude. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's that's amazing. I I just I wouldn't be able to stomach playing the whole game like that. I can't. I can't. But it's yeah. funny. It is very funny. It's it's something to turn on and off in key points and key points of the game. Like just, when you like when they're gonna do a big dramatic cutscene, make sure that your yeah. cartoon Edward. Yeah, where there's uh, less polygons than than Tubi's ass. The entirety of Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, every polygon could fit into Tubi's ass, <laughs> literally. Which um, is hilarious. <clears throat> it is very funny. I can't go that way. Push. Yeah, I reached into a trash can. Okay. You can't go that way. You see, Silent Hill has this fog that gets everywhere. It's coarse and rough. I, th I think it's interesting that, that this game that originally inspired those games is now being inspired hard by those games. Well, it's a remake of it, yeah. But it's just like, that's that's really funny. The gaming industry way. is a circle. That's correct. The circle just gets prettier. That's that's literally it. Riveting gameplay. I mean, this is the gameplay everyone came for, right? It's like the button that says 8 in Stanley Parable, where if you keep hitting it nonstop for a full 8 hours, it gives you a special achievement. And that's it. Just an achievement. No, an achievement, like, there's a whole other area of the game where they give you more buttons with more numbers on it. 
And it's like, wow, you really seem to like the n number on button idea. Oh my god, it's a monster shooter. Get over here and kiss me on the, my hot mouth. Oh I'm my feeling god. romantical. Are you? <laughs> Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in German store. What? There ain't no owners here, boy. How? Pack with the dog, man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150? Not enough. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth of that. Are you a thinking man gone bad? No, uh, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, compare. Yeah, the mama Loa. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you could find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. I, I love detective games that actually let you figure shit out. Right. There are three keys on the chain. Okay, one for the clerk's office and one for the library. Preserved reptile. Oh, it's a... Uh, go without horns. It's no, a it's a reptile. Objective. Okay. Completing sets will uncover forbidden knowledge and sometimes even more. I like the sound of Carry that. Carry over from game to game. Yeah. Okay. So they intend you to play both campaigns. So we got to make sure we find all that shit. Got to make sure we find it. So be thorough. Be a thorough boy. Boy. Hello. Can I talk to you? No, I have to stand a little bit further away and then I can talk to you. Well, it's got to put you in the right spot. Up. Nah, I'm going to stay here for a while. That, that was it? Okay, well. I'm going to stay here for a while, boy. Have fun. Bye. That was, that was fun. Going to open the thing? The thing? What thing? Right there. Oh. Yeah. That's why I didn't open it. Because it no. was already open. No. Fuck you, door. I won't do what you tell me. Nope. Hey, so the monster designs in this game are pretty cool, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They are. That's some pretty sick shit right there. This gives me Evil Within 2 vibes. Have you played Evil Within 2? Not all the way through, but yes. Isn't it great? It's pretty great. Have you seen the chainsaw thing yet? The chainsaw thing? Yeah, no. yeah. If not, then. Uh, well, I should say circular saw. The thing with the circular saw. Nope, 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 nope. Remember, triangles crouch. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. You don't know. That was stupid. Okay, he's crawling. I'm out of rocks. I'm all out of rocks. I'm so lost without rocks. We'll grab a rocks. I like grabbing rocks. You didn't grab the rock though. I'm not gonna grab it, cause that means a throw and make it come back here. I I will die. I will die very terribly. I can't go that way. Do I have a map about here? Yeah, thought, thought not. Okay. So he's... Yeah, he's on the right side. Okay, so I should be clear. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. I really don't want to fight this guy. I think I'm not going to have a choice here.
You don't know. You don't know. Oh my god, he actually doesn't know. Holy shit. Okay. Awesome. That was stupid. Hey, buddy! Oh, shit. Okay. That. Oh! oh. <laughs> A perfect bugless game. Perfect. Oh, did you see that Sicky City 2 is coming out? No. <gasps> yeah, I'm excited. I'm all out of you remember stuff. the Sinking City, right? Oh, Sinking City, yeah. It's my only Good. solace. Um, how do I use it, though? The hatchet. Uh, try hitting just, just R2 Nothing. without aiming. Um... That's a reload, obviously. Hit R2 without aiming. I am. Wow. Hit R1. I can zoom in my balls. There it is. Okay. It's R1? Does that have durability, though? That's the question. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Um, Can't go I'm that down way. here. There's nothing for me other than that. Fuck you, Gate. I won't do what you tell me. Do de do. Oh. Sticking my head through the door. Like the physical door. Whoa. Okay. That circle dodge is really useful. Come at me, bro. Reload. Oh, he, sh he can shoot stuff. He's got a range shot with leeches. Uh, Resident Evil Zero, anyone? But the, I, I doubt this game will have the leech king. So good at mashing. <laughs> I love how he has to take a second to put his hat back on. It's very important I have my hat. <laughs> nice. <laughs> There's an achievement for throwing a brick at him. That's amazing. Brick them. Okay, I love this game. I love this game. This game's pretty good so far. Like already, it's just kind of slotting into Silent Hill, Resident Evil stuff, and it's like this is good. This um, is, this and is and it has the benefit of just straight up Cthulhu shit, which is a pretty big benefit. Holy! Well, I mean, we've done a lot of Cthulhu shit on this channel. We did Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Yeah. And we, I, I played a Sherlock Holmes game, Sherlock Holmes versus Cthulhu. Let's see if she's got any information on Jeremy's. Sinking City, Bloodborne. We haven't played the actual Call of Cthulhu games yet. Yeah. But I do have they're, a couple on the list. On the list. I want to play Dark Corners of the Earth, but that game is so fucking buggy. I don't know if I can get it to actually happen. The. Uh... No, the recent one is fine. Like the one in the yeah. paint. It's just not great, but it's fine. Talisman in between their doors. An old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers looks to be less than a hundred years old, but the base could be from antiquity. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. Can I? Like a picture of a big old wolf. What? Use the talisman. It says use the talisman. Okay, so I can't like interact with no. it like a Resident Evil game. Though that would use be really the talisman cool. to get back to Dracetto. Okay. So Batiste keys don't allow you to do that. I think it's ah, here we go. Talisman. 
358. And we already know the numbers. So the big one was The big one is three. three. Small I one. Think it needs numbers. Like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Oh, okay. So it needs to be in that position. Wait a minute. Okay. Wait. No. There there are arrows on the sides. Look at the bottom of the circle. See that arrow? Put a three there. Right. Right, right. Three. And then... You've got it on six right now, bud. No. -uh. No, the second circle you have on six. No, what are you doing? Just wait. Just wait. Okay, I'm gonna look at the picture again, real quick. Shut up. No. It yeah, isn't. it's the last page of the commonplace book. Okay. Um. So three is there. So it's like half moon, half moon circle. So I'm gonna try that, where it's like. Okay, and then we. But there's no five. So maybe I just put it where the five would be, and then eight. Okay. I think we look at the schematics again. Tells me, yeah, three numbers needed to span a bridge between um, escapes of dream and memory, according to Stern. But it's not where I want to be, but it's a start. Three, five, eight. So maybe. Look at the arrow at the bottom of the circle. See it? Yeah. Put a three there. Uh huh. Oh, that was it? Yeah. It's showing something. Place. An Afghan. <gasps> Where is that? Oh, no, not an Afghan. And then there's like a circle of stuff. Oh. Now you'll be able to go through that door you can unlock. Detective, I was wondering when you were going to show up. Michael Shannon. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. Jimmy Carr. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. See, I was thinking of the guy who played uh, Zod. Yeah. Michael yeah. Shannon. Oh, so, I mean, yeah. you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, Detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, it's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Decentral. I prefer making you dead. I hope your what? time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? He looks like a guy who played Gomez Adams. Visit. I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid sort I don't of. know. A drink, detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, detective. Armagnac or cognac? Yes. Just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. See, Stop this rhyming. cognac Stop is rhyming. flavored with arsenic. I think I you'll find its flavor quite poisonous. Doctor, patient <laughs> confidentiality. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. And my tie is clipping into my belt buckle. Here. Try this. Ooh, so good. what studio did this? Got a bite. Uh, the trick is it's the of the lemon. THQ Nordic and Pieces. Okay, well, it's not technically triple okay. A then. What it's a double A, a but it's structure. it's a nice it's a double, double A. a. Yeah, oh, like, well, if this was a triple A game... What do you think? He is an anxious man. If this is a AAA game, I, may, I might be a little upset about the bugs. To his no, I'm not worried about this. Like, he yeah. complains about things will get patched nothing, out. Nothing game-breaking. All of it's Some visual so far. Be. It'll continue to be is any of this um, helpful to you? worked on. Uh, if we had a bugged uh, I puzzle, then I would be upset. If this is a, And this is also performance mode, for you then. which performance mode is often orders. cut down on resolution. But it's that. not going to make the, sure the tie so bug into the belt buckle. Yeah, oh, no. No, no, no. Like but that would happen I'm, in quality mode as well. I'm just saying about the like oh, weird. Excellent. So your investigation is already underway. Performance changes frame rate or Let resolution. Go. Well, yeah. Sure we'll meet again. It's it's like Looking DLSS on computer it. where like it Save downgrades it and then upscales it so that it can play faster. And sometimes that can look weird. Especially you can if look not weird. Especially focusing on like the performance mode. Like Spider-Man Two, they wanted like a really clean, crisp performance mode. That's that was like one of their main things. So they specifically went for that. Well, and it's a new thing yeah. to develop for. That hasn't exactly. been a thing Where for a long. I was just talking to Doctor Gray. You disappeared. No. You disappeared. Think. Have you? Have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive, and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal, even. Like monsters that I have to Detective, shoot with my gun. I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to, I want to try something else. With this talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy, the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? You remember something Spanish? T Tarawea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective, are you gonna be all right? No. Yeah, of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. Well, okay, okay. Dr. Thanks. Gray isn't in there, and then, like, a monster grabs her. And he just still closes the door. He's like, this That's is correct. Fine. It's like this is fine. Talisman brought me back from the French Quarter in the blink of an eye. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere, even Tarawea. If he can do it, so can I. I just need to figure out how Interesting. the works. Rubber stamp. Lost children. Who puts a collar on their child? <laughs> Weird people. Clerk's office. This must Paul, be. Oh, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Look at the wall. In the right now, garden. it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Do you hear it now? Yeah. That last guy is uh, Yuri Lowenthal. I think it's Mr. Waits. Dr. Elmore is. Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Do you Accounting hear now? and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Yep. Magdalena He's Mr. Thompson, Waits. or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. Finally, Jack Chance is our gardener who can occasionally be seen in the conservatory, but is, for the most part, busy outside. There are currently six guests at Dossetto. Malcolm McCarthy and Ruth Talant reside on the first floor. Jeremy Hartwood, Elisabetta Perosi, 
Grace Saunders, and of course, Cassandra Beauregard live on the second floor. Okay. Okay. So we can look in people's rooms and maybe that will give us... Well, you got a key to room number six. To number six. I've been in room number four. Mm-hmm. Repairing the boiler. Someone noticed in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being Bell, there myself. Bell from the wine, wine cellar. Wine cellar. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Rorschach. From when it makes you worse. Hmm. Patient files. Or not. There you Just go. Just kidding. Um, room number eight. Play it. Cassandra Beauregard. The beloved offer. Very exciting, isn't it? What do you want to put down for a reason for admission? What her agent told us. Cassandra suffers from a writer's block and needs to finish her moving picture script before the end of June. Mr. Chardot suggests Cassandra's heavy use of barbiturates is holding her back and risks ruining her career. And how should we summarize her personal history? Let's keep it short. Cassandra Beauregard is a beloved crime author who managed to pull herself out of poverty and into stardom. Five years ago, she tried killing herself by jumping off a balcony. The incident left her a cripple and now relies heavily on her wheelchair. And for diagnostic impressions? Cassandra suffers chronic back pain following her suicide attempt. She self-administers morphine to keep herself ambulant but has become addicted and the desired effect is now lost. The drug abuse clouds her mind and she is unable to focus on real life. To save herself from this insight, she instead makes up stories to fill out the gaps in her own thought process, resembling the Korsakoff syndrome. Oh, bravo, Doctor. How will you treat her? First of all, she needs to be weaned from her drug addiction and hopefully it will resolve her compulsive lying. Then look into permanently numbing her pain in her back through surgery. Finally, deal with her suicidal thoughts. Fantastic. With such a short time before June, I really hope she gets better soon. We will do what we can. March 15th. Grace Saunders. Grace Saunders, 11 years old. Reason for admission? The mother insists on strict supervision by a proper gentleman to avoid further perversion of Grace's adolescence. Personal history? Grace's family possesses modest wealth and status. Her childhood seems ordinary, spending most of her time with private teachers and family friends. Grace's father recently passed away, leaving her mother the sole caregiver. And diagnostic impressions? Grace has trouble dealing with her father's death. She is willingly suppressing her feelings on the matter and isn't properly acknowledging the trauma she suffered. Any planned treatment? Grace needs nothing out of the ordinary. She simply needs parental guidance. Eventually, we can work on her feelings toward her father. Which is why Thank she's God. here instead of at home. Finish the paperwork I don't know why. Installed. So they're all... Hmm. Well, yeah, this is basically a psych years of age. thing. You know? Reason yeah. for admission? McCarthy admitted himself to Dossetto, stating simply that he needs some damn rest. And personal history. McCarthy claims he used to work as a lawyer in Baton Rouge, but says he can't go into details because of some legal dispute. His background remains largely a mystery, except for the occasional clue that he drops in conversation. Huh. And diagnostic impressions. McCarthy is an anxious man and an alcoholic. He often tells half-truths due to some deep-seated inability to trust other people. And how will you treat that? McCarthy will take some time to open up. Spending time with Jack's dog or the child should be good for him. Their harmless nature will help build his sense of trust. Thank you, Doctor. Malcolm. Elisabetta Perosi. 33 years old? What should I put down as reason for admission? Well, Perosi broke into Dossetto and was found wandering the Grand Parlor. She was confused and suffered partial amnesia. Hmm. 
She insisted she belonged here and offered to pay for her stay. Right. What do you make of her story? Perosi claims to have been a member of the Astarte artist colony some 20 years ago. A claim that seems contrafactual due to her young age. She looks to be and even thinks she is 33 years of age. That would make her a child at the time. It seems fair to say that Perosi's story is untrue. Deliberately so or not. Diagnostic impressions? Do you have anything? Perosi's story is peculiar because she retracted her story about the artist colony. She no longer claims to be the same person as Elisabetta Perosi. However, my staff's research hmm. has confirmed there was a Perosi at that time who was in her early 30s. I suppose this case will take some time to investigate. How will you go about it? I wanted to contact the real Perosi, but it seems the whole colony disappeared one night. September 29th, 1915, during a hurricane. I will have to take it slow and figure out what this spell of impersonation could hmm. have been. Um, Ruth Talon, 29 years of age. Reason for admission? Uh, Ruth's father wishes that his daughter be removed from New Orleans nightlife for the foreseeable future. He fears that her overly free spirit is tarnishing the family's reputation. She's a whore. Sounds simple enough. Personal history? Ruth comes from considerable wealth. Her family owns several hotels and restaurants. She's Unlike Paris the Hilton. The family, her sense of adventure has taken her around the world, including France during the Great War as a photojournalist. The last decade, she has provoked many rumors of being a debauched flapper. Oh, nymphomania. Oh, and Lord. diagnostic impression? Despite her father's frivolous reasons for her to be admitted, Ruth does seem to provide an interesting case. She is refreshingly open and doesn't shy away from talking about her life during the war or her continuous celebration after returning to the States. She is admittedly a sexual deviant and feels no remorse. And her treatment plan? Simply staying at Dorsetto should do wonders for Ruth. If not, at least for her family's reputation. Ruth doesn't need to change, but with therapy I might be able to share with her some sympathy towards her family. Right, because that's what they would have thought in the 1920s. Them, but She's a sexual yeah. deviant, but she doesn't need to change. They, they, the they gave you electroshock for less. Yeah. In this era. A like little unrealistic. For. But. Except for Jeremy. There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone. Safe from the library. I, <laughs> next to Dr. Gray's office. Tries to open the door. I really need to stay here. I need the key. I'm going to shit my pants.